GTF, Kisa, what's good? Another day, another video. GTF was good, GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, Chad. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. GTF was going no man, what's going on, man? Your boy feeling good right now, you understand me? I can't even cap with y'all, yeah. But yeah, man, beautiful Saturday morning, man. Hope everybody out there doing everything they got to do to chase their dream and goals. You understand me? Because only you could put that work in. No cap. But what's good, though, fam? What's good, man? Topic of discussion, topic of discussion, man. Yesterday's video, man. Like I said, when I talk to y'all about these topic of discussion, I am not mad. You feel me? I just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like to read the comments because the comments give you stuff to talk about. You feel me? The, the comments give you stuff to talk about. So, with that being said, so yesterday I did the Cinco de Mayo video, you feel me? I spun, what that was, 16 that of four on the, what, on the birria tacos, it was three tacos, you feel me, with the consomme sauce. It was 16 I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The tacos was good, I liked them. I, I You feel me? They definitely tasted good to me. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm be honest with y'all, they was a bit on the high side. I already knew that the people in the comments was going, you know, was going to go to comment because of the price or what have you. That's what they do. And it's all good. You feel me? But people in the comments talk about some, oh, you got robbed. You got robbed. I seen so many comments talk about some, you got robbed. You got robbed. You got robbed. You got robbed. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the part that I feel like I need to clear up because it's like robbed. Like, what do you mean I got robbed? You understand what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean I got robbed? You understand me? First and foremost, I put up the definition of robbed. You understand me? The definition of robbed. Take property unlawfully from a person or place by force or threat of force. You understand me? That is robbed. So now if I went on in the restaurant and they said 16 that are four, and I say, you know what? Forget that. And then the restaurant people pull out a pistol, be like, well, you better pay the 1634 or else. Then I would have got robbed. But I voluntarily pulled out my money after they told me 1634 and handed the lady my money. So I did not get robbed. I voluntarily paid for it. You understand me? So this whole thing, you got robbed, you got robbed, you got robbed. Like, fine, y'all got to find. Y'all just got to use these words better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got robbed. Like, what you mean I got robbed? They didn't take my money. I gave them my money. That's not caught. That's not robbing. You feel me? They didn't take no money by force from me or they did not take my money unlawfully. I gave them my money. You understand me? So I just wanted to clear that up real quick because I didn't get robbed. I paid, I paid them my money because they gave me the price and I voluntarily paid it. You understand me? And another thing I wanted to say too is like, you know, along the lines of the same thing is like, Basically, people are saying you got robbed because, or I got robbed rather because, you know, I paid more for the food than what it looked like it's actually worth. But at the end of the day, people act like in the times that we're living in, that all of us are not paying more for food than what it's really worth. Whether you pay $1 more, $2 more, $3 more, $4 more, $5 more, $10 more, we are paying more. You understand what I'm saying? We all paying more. Some of us might be paying more than others, but we all paying more. You understand me? And you feel me? I just wanted to elaborate on that real quick. Like I said, I'm not mad. It's just a topic of discussion. Like sometimes these comments, that's why I read the comments too, because the comments are giving me stuff to talk about. I ain't going to cap with y'all. You feel me? Some of these comments are giving me stuff to talk about. You know what I mean? Because I'll be like, damn, people actually be thinking this way? I'm like, you know what? I'm going to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, fam, enough about that. I just wanted to clear that up real quick. But yeah, um, Remember yesterday I told y'all that I wanted to do a hot bar, but then, you know, it was Cinco de Mayo, so I ended up doing a taco thing. So today, I wanted to do some hot bars. So basically, I was coming from a little spot while having a little cafe con leche, you feel me, downtown, or midtown, rather. And um, it just so happened, you know, I, you know, I got to pass Little Haiti to get down there. So on the way back up, I got to come through Little Haiti again. So it was just so happened I'm passing by um this old... Uh, this old um, um, uh, supermarket that, you know what I'm saying, I used to go to a lot. My mom used to send me to a lot as a kid. It used to be called Sable Palm Supermarket, but they done changed it now to Bravo or whatever. It just so happened they got a hot bar inside. You understand me? I had just found out they got a hot bar inside 
Well, actually, ZB told me about that. I was on the phone with ZB this morning because I was supposed to go scoop him up. You know what I mean? But ZB, you know what I'm saying? He had went to work last night, so I guess he feel he couldn't come out. But he was telling me about, yo, uh, the old Sable Pond supermarket got a, a hot bar in there. I'm like, yeah. I said, I got to go check that out. You feel me? So basically, that's what we're doing today. I want to check this hot bar out. And you know what I mean? And, and see what they got to offer. I ain't going to lie. Like, trying to go into the supermarket... It's gonna bring back some memories, you feel me? I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. But anyway, fam, let go! All right, fam, we pulling up right now. All right, fam, let's go see what this hot bar hitting for. I ain't gonna lie, fam. See that barbershop there? Barbershop bring back so much memories. I remember growing up in Little Haiti in the 80s. My parents used to take me here and we used to get haircuts for $5, though. $5. Compared to now, I'm spending like $40, $50 on a haircut. It's crazy. That barbershop bring back so much memories, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't go to them now, you know what I mean? When I was younger, you know what I mean? My haircuts didn't matter so much as, you know, I didn't really know about like, you know what I mean? Like wanting my haircut to be super right or what have you, you understand me? So I wouldn't go to them now, but I ain't gonna lie, that barbershop been standing since the 80s, bro. We in 2023, it's still here. You know what I'm That barbershop bring back a lot of memories, bro. That's crazy, bro. That barbershop still here. I didn't even realize it was still standing. Being here bring back so much memory. This thing done been through so many names. It used to be called Top Value. Then Silver Pond Supermarket. Now they call it Bravo, you heard? And now they sell hot food in there. Back when I was going here, they wasn't selling hot food in here, you heard? Fam, I ain't gonna lie, man. Like, being in here right now bring back so much memories. And I ain't gonna lie, the, the whole setup done changed compared to when I was a kid. Last time I was in here, I was a kid, bruh. I mean, they done totally changed it around the whole setup or what have you. I remember coming here as a kid, me and my homeboy, you feel me? We used to come in here and we used to like race the buggies or the shopping carts, whatever you call them. We call them buggies. My homeboy used to get a shopping cart. I used to get a shopping cart and we'd be racing through the store with the shopping cart, making car noise like. <laughs> we used to be yoking them shopping carts. Yeah. But yo, fam, I ain't gonna lie, bring back so much memory, man. But let's look for this deli, though. All right, fam. We got the grub, oh, yeah. yeah. Huh? Yeah, man, I got you in the movie, man. Yeah, fam, we got the grub, you yeah. Homie said if I got him in the movie. But yeah, we got the grub, grub on sight. Don't cause no fight. You understand me? All right, fam. We in the whip, you yeah. Ooh, it's hot outside. Turn that AC on. Make sure that radio down, get hit with the copyright infringement. I don't know if y'all can hear that AC, hit that wind blowing, but it's hot. Had to turn that D on on full blast. Had to turn that do up on full blast. Fam, how y'all say AC in y'all cities and state? Down here in Miami, Florida, you feel me? Besides AC, we say the do. Had to crank that do up, you heard? It's hot. But yeah, fam, I ain't gonna lie, like being in the store, being in the store, um, I don't even know what I'm strapping up for. I'm tripping. It just, it just muscle memory you feel me but being in the store bring back memories though man like i said man i grew up in sable palms which is in little haiti that's why i grew up and so it bring back so much memory because my mom used to always send me to the store you know what i mean and my homeboy mom used to always send him to the store 
you know what I mean? We used to go to the store together. So we used to be in the store with the with the buggies. Like I say, shopping. Y'all probably call them shopping carts. We call them buggies or what have you. And we used to be in the store. We'd be racing them. Like, making like, you know what I'm saying? Car noises. Yoking them like, you know what I mean? All type of situation. Then seeing the barbershop over there when I was growing up. You feel me? Getting $5 cuts compared to now. We paying $40, $50 a haircut. Man, times has really changed. You understand me? Times have really changed, bro. And in this store... It done been through so many names. I remember it being called Top Value, Save a Pound Supermarket. Now it's called Bravo Supermarket. And the whole inside setup done changed compared to how it was when I was growing up, family. Times have changed, bro. I am capital. This thing brings back so much memory, bro. I miss, like, I feel like we grow up so fast. Like, we grow up so fast. Like, I just, I miss being a kid sometimes, you feel me? Like, we grew up so fast, bro. I would, if I knew what I knew now, you feel me? I would appreciate my childhood more. You understand me? All right, fam. Time to set up Group 10 Mobile Studios. Mouse and the wipes. But yeah, fam. Um, this was not. Grub for under half a dub. You understand me? But it's not far from it though. Um, I got what that was like baked chicken. I got baked chicken and rice and beans and some sweet plantains. And I spun in total 1062. So it's not far from grub for under half a dub. I know it's way less than, you know what I'm saying? It's less than what I spun yesterday on them tacos. So you guys should be happy about that, right? You understand me? I bought this from Bravo Supermarket. Um, I don't know. I don't know where. I mean, besides down here, I don't know if there's Bravo supermarkets in your city and you in your city and state. But you feel me? Check it out. See if you guys have them. If not, you feel me? Uh, if not, you feel me? Just check out your local grocery stores. You feel me? See if they got hot bars or hot food deli or deli hot food, whatever. Search it. On the internet, on Google, or what have you, you feel me? Because them hot bars be where well, you can get them good deals. You understand me? I ain't gonna lie, this is the first hot bar that I went to that that I didn't get grub for and a half a dub. Like, I'm surprised it was 10 But then again, it's a Saturday, so I don't really know if those under $10 meals apply on the weekends. I don't know. You feel me? But that's what we got, man. Let's get into this food. Let's pop this thing. Oh! All right, fam, that close-up action, yeah. Y'all see that big piece of baked chicken, that white rice, and that sweet plantain right there. Also come with this uh, black beans right here, separate container. But you feel me? This is not a bad buy, you understand me? 1062, what y'all think, fam? Y'all drop the comments, let me know. For the 1062, gotta pour one for the GTF. All right, fam, with that plate right here, yeah. That plate right here. Got that baked chicken. It's a big piece of baked chicken, by the way. White rice. And damn boy. Okay. And black bean sauce. You understand me? Um pretty big plate for the 1062, in my opinion. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um, do you think this is enough food for the 1062 or not? Okay, so we got, I also got sweet plantains as well. I don't know if I said that. But here's a sweet plantain right here. As you can see, they cut their sweet plantains different. It's kind of like thin sliced or what have you. you feel me? Sweet plantain, hit that bit. So the sweet plantain. I mean, the sweet plantain, I don't know if you guys can tell, but usually when you look at sweet plantain, it be kind of glossy, like it be like moist a little bit. This sweet plantain, if you look at it, it's kind of dry. You feel me? It does taste like sweet plantain, but it kind of feel like it's lacking. It's lacking some of that sweet plantain taste. It's not like full-blown sweet plantain taste. 
it's lacking some of the food, the sweet plantain taste. But you know, it's still good. It's edible, but it ain't the best sweet plantain. You understand me? It's edible. We got sketchy characters walking around. Let me lock my doors. I do be reading y'all comments sometimes, y'all. Some of y'all be in the comments sometimes. Lock your doors, lock your doors. Let me lock my doors now. So, that was that with the uh, sweet plantain. Now I got the white rice. I had already poured the black bean sauce over the white rice for the um, short form video. Y'all see it right there. Hit the beer. Mm-hmm. Hit one more time. Hit that bit. Hit it back again. Um for the black bean right right? For the 1062, it's definitely good. Definitely good for the 1062. The rice is not gummy. The black bean sauce got, it got that flavor on there, you understand me? Compliments the rice well, you understand me? Definitely worth it. Black beans and white rice good. I like it. Now, for the main course, for the start of the show, that baked chicken. You baked chicken. See the bone coming out easy. You know. Let's cut that thing cook right. Chicken hit that bit. Damn. That's a big piece of baked chicken now. Y'all see that? Hit that bit. People always asking me when they be seeing me on the lives, they be like, why are you always looking around? Like, why are you always looking around? To be honest with y'all, in this world that we living in, people do crazy things. So it is in your best interest to be looking around and make sure you know what's going on around you. Best interest. No cap. But yeah, find this some good baked chicken. That's a nice fulfilling plate to me. You could definitely eat off this place twice because I ain't about to eat all this right now. This chicken is well prepared and full of flavor. Damn. Alright fam, so So 
So I want to talk to, to you guys about today. It's your chance to exit. If you don't want me to mess up the show for you. Today we're going to talk about the latest episode of Power. Power Book 2 Ghosts. I ain't gonna lie, fam. I saw it last night, latest episode last night. It was crazy, yeah. Crazy. So, in that episode, Davis, the attorney, which is Method Man, you feel me? He drinking his, you know what I'm saying? Drinking his sorrows away. It started off like that. So, uh, he drinking his sorrows away. Because he's sad because he done helped feed his brother after 20 something years and his brother really don't want nothing to do with him. You feel me? He done helped got his brother out of jail after 20, I think it was 20 something years. I don't remember how many years it was. It was a long time rather. But his brother don't want nothing to do with him. His brother felt like, man, he should just left me in jail. So he done helped feed the brother, but the brother's still not happy. You feel me? Like the brother not happy that he free. He rather be on the inside because his brother was dying anyway. And then his brother was acting like he was going to go get treatment. But in reality, his brother was not going to get treatment. You feel me? They couldn't really save his life anyway. So yeah, so he started, they started off with him, David drinking his sorrows away. And then uh, Sax pulled up on dog, you feel me? You know, Sax acting all cons with, uh, with fake concern. You know, Sax the weasel, you heard? Acting with his fake concern and all that. So now David's get a phone call. It's Monet. She called David and said, yo, Diana's been arrested. Diana is Monet's daughter. So now David tell Diana, okay, I'm on it. But you know, David is drunk. You feel me? David is drunk though. So that so so David tell uh, Monet, I'm on it. So now I'm, um uh David's come over to Saxon and be like, yo, I gotta go. Uh Diana been arrested, da 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 da. So you know Dave, so you know um Sax is working for the feds, you feel me? Sax is working for the feds. So now Sax Tell uh, Davis like, no nah, man, you're in no shape to go over there right now. I'll take care of it. <sighs> Davis is like, no nah, man, I gotta take care of it because if I don't do it, Monet gonna be hot with me. You feel me? So Sax, you know, he trying to act like he concerned. Like, no nah, man, da da da, I'll do it. Just tell her I'll take care of it. Da da da. So now Davis like, you sure? And he like, yeah, I'm sure. So now Davis, said, okay, you can go ahead and get handled it. Thank you, my man. I owe you one. Whatever. Well now after that, Davis take off. I mean. Sax take off, you feel me? So now Sax get a text from Tariq. Yo, I need to talk to you ASAP, you feel me? So now Tariq pull up on um Tariq pull up on Davis and say, Yo man, Sax is a mole. So now Met the Man get hot, you feel me? Met the man get hot. So now Met the Man go in his little safe and he grabbed a pistol. You understand me? So he grabbed a pistol. So now he getting ready to go handle his business. Tariq block him. He said, Man, yo, get out of my way. And then Tariq try to Tariq talk some sense into him, like, nah, man, you can't do that. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? We just gotta uh, try to figure out what he knows and da, da 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 da. You feel me? So Davis realized that Tariq is right. So Davis has to calm down, so get his head together. You feel me? So now Davis shoot over there to the precinct, and he peep around the corner. He see Sax talking to the Fed lady. Sax is telling the Fed lady all their business. You feel me? So now Davis he pull up on Sax like, yo yo, what up? What's up? What's up? So you feel me? So now Sax say, oh, you decided to come? And he was like, yeah. So now Sax telling Davis, you know, Sax the weasel. Telling Davis, oh, um, no, nah, um, I was just telling her that uh, you can't be questioning our clients without us present. Da 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 da. I mean, he lying the whole time. You feel me? So now, whatever. So now they go inside. So now Davis going to the room with Diana, and then now uh, Sax is there too. So now they talking. You feel me? You could tell Davis is like, you know, what I'm saying like he, you know, he ain't feeling Sax. You know what I'm saying? He don't, you know what I mean? He, he, don't, he ain't vibing him right up. You feel me? So whatever the case may be. So now, Davis like. Like, you know, he purposely dropped the drink on sax, but he act like it was a mistake. And then he snuck Diana a note, you understand me? Telling, you know what I'm saying, basically Diana that, yo, we can't trust this dude, whatever, feel me? Okay, cool. So, anyway, they, uh, sax, uh, sax come back to talk to Diana, you feel me? Diana, you know, she playing him or whatever. He thinking, like, you know, Diana telling him the truth, but all the while, Diana know, man, you a weasel, homie. You feel me? So, Diana playing him, whatever the case. So, now he take the information back, whatever he learned from Diana, and go to, uh, to the fed lady with it. You feel me? So, now they had to set, Tariq them had to set up, uh, what's her name? Effie, to take a fall. You feel me? 
But I mean, like, she wasn't really going to take a fall because it was like a whole setup thing where they were trying to see, uh, you know, they were trying to throw the feds off, basically. So they had to clean up the warehouse and put a whole bunch of sugar in there, whatever. So now they made it seem like Effie was going to go pick up some, some dope or what have you. So now when Effie reached to the warehouse, the police pull up on her. So now they got Effie in handcuffs. They go in the warehouse. They searching the handcuffs. They, they, they ran the test on the on what they found. They said, man, this is this not dope. This sugar. So now they had to let her go. You feel me? So now, boom. They done threw the feds off. Now the fed lady, she hot ass sex. She hot ass sex. Oh, this and that. Da, 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 da. Whatever, whatever. They have an argument, whatever the case may be. So now they ain't on good terms. So now sex leave. So now when sex leave, sex figure that Tariq must be know, know something. You feel me? So now Tariq, uh, sex called Tariq phone and leave a voicemail. Tariq. Yo, if I die, remember, I know where your mom and your sister is. You, you'll never know. Whatever. So anyway, so so, so, so Sax get in his car. Sax get in his car. Boom. You feel me? So he crank up the car. David's brother in the backseat, he got the pistol. He pulled the pistol out. He told him, drive. Sax said, like, man, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this, Theo. You don't want to do this. You feel me? Sax told him, I mean, Theo told him, man, drive. So now, boom. So now he drive. He Sax drives off. So now, all the while, uh... You know what I mean? They go back to uh, to Tariq and, and, and Davis, and they're trying to figure out where is Sax and David trying to figure out where is Theo. Then they, then they come to some type of uh, figuring. I forgot how they figured it out, but uh, David said, man, I think I might, might know where Theo is going. So now, you feel me? They go down there, and Theo, you feel me? He was dying anyway, so he felt like he had nothing to lose. So met the man was trying, you know, they were trying to plead with Theo, don't kill Sax, don't kill Sax, don't kill Sax. Man, that boy shot that boy. Bam! Sax is dead, you heard? That weasel is gone. He is no more. You understand me? So now the sad part about it, Theo killed himself too. You know, murder suicide type of joint going down. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna, I'm glad Sax is gone. I'm glad Sax. I was tired of him. He was a weasel. You feel me? You can't trust that. You can't trust that guy, you feel me? I'm glad he gone. So yeah, so Sax is dead. Uh, Tariq had done told RSJ that uh, the Western um, business thing is a Ponzi scheme and all that. So uh, RSJ, you feel me? He done spoke to the uh, to the owner of of the Western company. He told him like, "Yo, I'm gonna need to get all my bread back, or I'm about to uh, break the news to the world or to the press or what have you, and all that." So RSJ agreed that he would pay him all his money back. You know, but there's gonna they couldn't they didn't have the money to pay him. In, in a lump sum, so they're gonna make like make payments, or else he's gonna break the news. So he agreed, you gotta pay RSJ back his money, Tariq's trust fund, and you gotta give Monet them back their money, the Tejadas. You feel me? You gotta get them all they back their bread. Um, yeah, man. So, pretty much, those are the main key points of the show. It was crazy. You feel me? Sax died. Oh, another key point at the end, at the end. Oh, you feel me? So now. So now you know they had to let Effie go because they had to find sugar or whatever at the warehouse. They ain't, it wasn't dope, it was sugar, whatever. Oh yeah, by the way, Effie done let Kane, you feel me? Kane and Effie done knocked the boots. Kane and Effie done knocked the boots, you feel me? But anyway, whatever, forget all that. The crazy part is at the end, Kane had them just done finished knocking, knocking, knocking Effie down, you feel me? So now they here to knock at the door. It's they say, oh, it's the maintenance, it's the maintenance. So now Effie go open the door, it's the police. They grab Effie, you feel me? Boom. They grab Effie, they took her outside. She like, oh, what y'all ain't got nothing on me? It wasn't no drugs, da 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 da. Oh, it's something else. So now they pull up to, they bring her to the car. They drop the window. It's Lauren. Lauren said, "Yeah, that's the that's the B. That's the B that tried to kill me." They put Effie. Lauren, uh, Effie was shocked when she seen Lauren face. You feel me? She was shocked. And then like Kane came out and he seen like, oh snap! And then Kane took off. He took off running or whatever. But they ain't come to get Kane anyway, so they wasn't gonna do nothing. So Kane took off like he couldn't believe it himself. So now Effie get arrested. You feel me? And that's how it ends. Yo, yeah, man, Lauren, the point Effie. I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like Effie anyway. I don't like Effie. Can't trust her. Hope she go to jail for good, Jared. But yeah, man. So that's what happened in the show. It was a crazy episode last night. I can't wait to see the next episode. Definitely a great episode, man. Most definitely, y'all check out Power if you haven't checked it out yet. You understand me? Definitely a great episode last night, man. But yeah, fam. That's all I got for y'all today. Yeah, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You understand me? Um, like I said, I don't know if you guys have Bravos in your city and state, but. When you're looking for them cheap meals, man, check out your local grocery stores. You feel me? See if they got hot food delis. You understand me? And you might get you, you know what I'm saying? Go there and get the hot, hot bar food for the low. You feel me? Sometimes, you feel me? Those be... People don't be knowing that the grocery stores be having hot food delis in them. You understand me? So, most definitely check your local grocery stores out. You understand me? GTA for life. <laughs>